My Nature Watch is a project to design open source devices that people can use to engage with wildlife near their homes. The aim of the project really is to get people to build DIY devices like cameras and bird feeders so that they can engage with the nature uh, around them and in the process of doing so also learning a little bit about new technologies. So far we've developed two devices. One is here, it's a little camera we call a wildlife camera that you can put in the backyard and it automatically looks for movement and that triggers pictures ideally of wildlife um, near you when they move in front of the camera. The other device is kind of still in development. It's an RFID bird feeder, a freeder. Ornithologists are really excited because it would allow them to track garden birds as they move around from place to place to a much higher degree of detail than they currently have. The camera is actually really simple um, in, in its technology. So it's essentially a really small computer called the Raspberry Pi, a, a small cheap camera and a battery. And that's kind of all there is to it. We wanted to make something that was both really um, affordable, so they only cost about 35 pounds, and also really easy to make. So we use completely off-the-shelf hardware. What's kind of special about the design is um, the software that Mike's written, which uses computer vision to recognize movement. So if the change is big enough, we can guess that it's probably an animal coming into shot. But if it's too small, then we can disregard it. So we can disregard all the false positives. Some of the animals that we've been getting are things like birds, like robins uh, and blue tits, but also bigger mammals such as foxes and badgers. It really depends on uh, the time that you put the camera out. So if you put it out in the morning, you'll get more birds. If you put it out at night, you get a lot of things like foxes. And if you're really lucky, you get hedgehogs. I think of it as like fishing now, that you put out the bait and sometimes you get a bite and sometimes you wait for hours and you don't get anything. But if you do get stuff, it could be really good. On MyNatureWatch.net, we have full instructions for making these cameras, as well as information about the project more generally. So there's an ingredients list at the beginning and most of the parts have links that take you to places where you can actually get the parts. And then there's a step-by-step -step detailed instruction for how to construct the cameras. There's also uh, instructions for how to make a casing for the camera out of a food storage container like this. But the nice thing about the cameras is you can house them in, a, in many, many different ways. So we really encourage people to improvise. We really want people to share the photos that they take with the camera. And they can do that if they go on our website, they can upload photos. But if they use social media, they can also use the My Nature Watch hashtag. And then we'll pull all of those together. We've done a few workshops now. We've done them at nature centers around the UK and a few other schools. The, technology is not just for children, it's nice that they get engaged, but it's really for everybody. If kids can make it really easily, then adults can probably make it really easily too. What we're really hoping is that people will start to build these cameras now, and then over the course of the next year, we may start to put together more kind of constructed activities of ways to use the camera en masse, where everybody, for instance, puts out the same kind of bait and see what takes it. The point of this project is less about collecting the data than getting people engaged with wildlife and with making. It will be really interesting to see that variety of, of nature across the UK.